we have to embrace data. You know, we've been talking about data for a long time, but I think now is really the time for health information professionals to learn where it comes from, how data travels through the ecosystem, um, how to look at it, what it means or, or what it can mean. And then take that data and talk to our healthcare leaders to find out, you know, what kind of business questions do they need answers to? So data is where we can find those answers. And we as health information professionals, we're the ones that can synthesize this data and turn it into information. And then finally, I think really probably the most important part is we need to learn how to present this data in a way that's easily understood by someone who's not in our profession. I am super excited to attend AHIMA 22. There's really nothing to like being surrounded by people that know you, that understand your profession and what you do. And really we can all then celebrate our successes together um, as an association. And plus, if you look at the agenda, topics such as workforce, health equity, interoperability, data governance, telehealth, cybersecurity. I mean, these are just a few of the super amazing areas that health information professionals have been participating in as of late. So it's really kind of a one-stop shop where the best of the best will be presenting on these issues and we all have the opportunity to learn from them. It really does make me so proud and proud to be part of a membership like AHIMA where we have over 100,000 credentialed professionals. I'm thankful for AHIMA who's done such tremendous work at keeping our profession at the forefront and we are now being asked to participate at tables we only dreamed of years ago. So it, it's just amazing. Our skill set has become so broad and so robust, which really makes the future very bright for us health information professionals. Mm -hmm.